Hello everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Good morning. It is 10 o'clock just now. I've been up since about 5.30. I had to film the advent calendars for yesterday because I didn't do that last night when I got home. Edit yesterday's video, get that scheduled. It just went live a few minutes ago. Showered, fed the bird. Have I done anything else? Had breakfast, leftover Chinese food. That's what I'm talking about. Obviously have not gotten dressed yet. Today I have several things to do, but I think I may stay home. I don't know, I may go out, who knows? We shall see what the day brings, but I have a big mess in here, as you can see. Oh, I also sorted through the, uh, the things that I bought yesterday, the gifts, and can you see over there the paper bags? I sorted the gifts into bags for different people. It's mostly stocking stuff or stuff at this point. Why am I not in focus? It's got the box around my face saying I'm in focus. There we go. Yeah, so I've got a lot of just cleaning and sorting and wrapping and things like that to do. I need to get over to UPS, but I don't know if that'll happen today because I think I'm going there tomorrow anyway, so I may just wait. I know what I need to do. I need to draw a winner for that Louis Vuitton catalog. Let's do that now. All right, we're in the YouTube random comment picker, and I'm going, and I am recording this time. I made sure. That's good. I just pasted the correct address in there, and we're going to filter comments based on a specific text, which was adventure. And there it is. And then we just scroll down a little bit, see how many comments there were that used the word adventure. There are 75. And then we scroll over here and click start and pick a winner. Look at all those people. Alex Wissing, you are the winner. I love seeing your road trip. I love going on those too. Fun adventure in the car. Thank you. So you have won the Louis Vuitton catalog. I'm gonna comment on your comment and let you know that you won and to email me your address. Congratulations. If I get your address today, I can ship it tomorrow when I go to UPS. Along with the previous winner who I still haven't shipped because I've been working and out of town and all that stuff. Well, I'm dressed in bright summer yellow because it's basically summer here in Houston. It's cool this morning, but it's going to be warming up and our Christmas is going to be in the 80s. <sighs> I'm not happy about that. We had really cool weather for our area the last few days. Like it was down in the 40s. And when we were up in Bryan, it was downright cold. We needed jackets and scarves. Here you barely need a sweater when it's chilly. It's disappointing because it doesn't feel like winter. I have a package I want to open with you guys. I have been, what have I been doing this morning? I already told you some of it. Since I talked to you last, I have been wrapping gifts, but I can't show you that because all the people I wrap gifts for watch my videos and I can't spoil what their gifts are. I have been sorting out more gifts for stocking stuffers and chocolates and just divvying things up. I also made an appointment with Becca to go to Louis Vuitton tomorrow. I'm going to pick up something, a little something for myself for Christmas. And I may look at a couple things while I'm there. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that I know what's in here, but I am not entirely sure because it doesn't say for sure on the bag. Let's get into this. Such a pretty blue bag. Oh yes, this is exactly what I thought it would be. Fabulous. I don't know everything that's in here, but let me take stuff out because I want to do this in a certain order. Ah, oh, fantastic. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I got a bunch of stuff from Dress Up Your Purse and Melody sent this stuff to me. She asked me if I wanted to try anything on the website and I did have a few things in mind that I wanted to try. Here's a little chain. I'm gonna have to grab some things because I forget what all I ordered from her. I have to grab something to put on this. I think I got it to be... What did I get this for? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to look at my things. It could be decorative. It could be possibly a shoulder chain. It's pretty short. Here's a 720 centimeter chain. Oh, this one. This is a long crossbody chain and it's kind of a Rolo style chain similar to what's on the Louis Vuitton Felici. Did have something in mind for that. I'll grab that and show you after we've opened everything here. Wait, I ordered a bunch of chains or she sent me more than I ordered. I'm pretty sure she sent me more than I ordered. Here's another one. Is this the same? Oh, I think I see what's going on here. I think some of this stuff may be, yes, this stuff, all the chains, I'm like, why are there so many chains? They are related to something else I ordered. That chain is exactly the same as the second one I showed you. 
And then this one, okay, is exactly the same as I, the first one that I showed you. So there are two of each of those two chains. There's also a different chain. This one I had something specific in mind. All right, this is a crossbody chain and it's a gold chain with vachetta woven through it. And it's a patinaed vachetta. And I got that to put on my pochette accessoire. I have a chain crossbody strap for that. I have a vachetta crossbody strap for that. But I saw this in one of her promotion pictures, or maybe it was somebody else's photo that they had gotten one and posted it. I thought it was so pretty. So I got that to put on my pochette, which I will grab and show you in just a minute. And then she sent me two of her new items. This is very much like the pochette accessoire from Louis Vuitton, except it's in a smooth black leather. It has a little tiny bit of a texture to it. She's got it stuffed well so that it keeps its shape and shipping. The interior is lined with a fabric. There's a zipped pocket on the back and then on the other side there's a slip pocket which is more organization than you get with the Louis Vuitton one. The zipper is a little bit because it doesn't have the tab that sticks out. It's a little bit difficult when you zip it all the way over to get it going the other way again but other than that it's a very smooth zipper. It has D ring on either side to attach the crossbody chain like so. There you go. Very cute. And then you can also attach this heavier chain. And this is more of a flat chain. I like it a lot. And that can hang as decoration, which is really pretty. Or you could take off the crossbody chain or leave it on if you want to and put that over your shoulder. And that is fabulous. So this one is in black with gold hardware. And then she sent me this rose gold one. It has a bit of a shimmer to it. Isn't that pretty? And this also has gold hardware. This comes with the same crossbody chain and the more decorative shoulder strap chain. That's why there are two sets of each of those chains. And this is a giveaway. I'll probably have to ship this after Christmas, just to let you know. Let me grab the little box, the little box from USPS that I can use to ship international packages, and it just fits in there. It's probably a little bit squished on the bottom. If you are international and you're okay with that, I think it would arrive to you just fine. Then you can enter. Here it is with the two chains on it, so you can see what that looks like. It's so pretty. I'm tempted to keep it for myself. This one would look great with one of her pearl handles too with the gold hardware. So let's say if you want to enter the giveaway for this pochette in rose gold, leave a comment below and in that comment use the word gold in a sentence. G-O-L-D, gold. And in a couple days I will announce the winner. And by then, yes, it will definitely be too late for me to ship it before Christmas because today is, well, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday and then by the time I announce a winner it'll be maybe Christmas Eve. There you go. That's all right. And if you don't want to enter, you can just buy one outright. She ships all over the world. She has beautiful products. So let me get the pochette and show you this strap on the pochette. Pochette accessoire, new model. This one's in Azure. Let's do a very quick size comparison here. So here they are side by side. And then there is the end and the bases. Very similar. And the leather's nice and soft. It looks like Melody's pochette is just a little bit shorter. You can see the Azure is a little longer over on that side. It's really pretty, that leather. Yeah, I have the original strap hanging on the back of this. But here's the pochette accessoire with that chain strap with the leather going through it. It's really beautiful. Let's do a quick mod shot. I'm trying to block the lights behind me as best I can, but they're just going to be in the picture. So this strap is pretty long. I ordered the longest one thinking, you know, I'm, I'm pretty round. I'm going to need some length to get around all that. And it's really longer than I would like it to be, but lesson learned, huh? That said, it looks really nice. And I could always, there are tricks to shorten these things, tie them on the shoulder or something. I don't know how well that would work with a chain, but it's a beautiful chain. I like it. All right, the chain that came with this pochette is much better in terms of length for me. And the bag that was in was marked 720 centimeters and I'm 5'3". That's much better. Here's the little shoulder strap. That's a great length. It's not long enough for me to do this one-handed. See my elbow runs into it, but 
I could finagle it if I needed to, and I think it's really nice. It's certainly a pretty chain. I like that it's more substantial and that it's a flat chain. Just for kicks, here's the pouch next to the Coach Nolita 19. As you can see, the Nolita is noticeably smaller, and there are the bases. The leather is also different. The Nolita, this particular one anyway, is much more pebbled, whereas this is more smooth. And the Nolita has a non-removable chain. I like that you can remove this completely. The pochette is one of the most versatile pieces because you can remove all the straps and keep it in your bag as a catch-all, which is mostly how I use it. But then you can also add that shoulder strap or a crossbody strap and make it into a handbag, and that is super helpful. All right, now you see the results of doing Vlogmas. You're left with messes everywhere, so now I need to clean that up. This is still all Christmas stuff. Believe it or not, I just cleaned that up. That's a bag I'm throwing paperwork in, receipts and things. Actually, that's what I need to do with that pile. Just dump everything into that bag. That'll save me time. I can deal with it next week when Vlogmas is over. That's a good idea. Here on top of my shelving, those boxes are gifts from Devin, Yota, and Winnie. And I want to unbox the gifts and put them on the shelves so that we can look at them and see the pretty packages before we open them in a few days. And I'm thinking that since we are getting low on advent calendar gifts on this particular calendar, maybe we can scooch those over and put gifts there. There are a few things that aren't wrapped, and I knew that because I asked Winnie first, and Yota has the same issue. So, probably put those in a little Christmas bag, not show you what they are, and then those will be like stocking stuffers when I open up everything. One of these isn't for me. <gasps> Something from a long shop. Here's the inside of the box from Yota. I have to say, I did peek in Devin's box when I got it just because I wanted to see if it was wrapped or not, and it's not. And if I pull it out, it'll ruin what it is. And I don't know exactly what it is, but I have a pretty good idea, and I'm really excited about it. Excited to share that with you when I open it up. But because of that, I'm gonna leave his gift in the box up on top of the cabinets. This is from Winnie, ho ho ho, and I'm gonna have to find a place to put this. That's adorable. I've hung the ornament 
from the rain dog wiener deer. Very cute. This is my new gift section. And then I have those two bags with stocking stuffery things that I could put up top there because they look a little weird there. However, it's not really room because I still need to get to the advent calendars. I put that one bag up there. I'm going to have to move that when I do the dog ones, but that'll work. And I just got a notification from UPS that I have a box arriving from England from Gwenny tomorrow. So I'll check with her and see if I can open that up and put gifts out here. While we're at it, let's do advent calendars. Uh-oh, look who showed up. How convenient. Were you sleeping? Are we on day 22 already? 22 is all about the money. For more than 25 years, philanthropist Larry Stewart was the secret Santa of Kansas City, anonymously giving away over $1.2 million to strangers in need. In 1971, when a homeless Larry received $20 to pay for a big breakfast at a diner, he vowed to help others if given the chance. Around Christmas eight years later, he gave away his first $20 bill, and he didn't stop until 2006 when he retired as Secret Santa due to health issues. Mission 43, giving away smiles, is also a kind of philanthropy, right? So put a smile on your face, think happy thoughts, and let your good mood lift the spirits of everyone around you for a whole day. That's an interesting one. Mission 44, ask a friend if they want to catch a movie, and then surprise them by paying for both their ticket and their popcorn. Madam, are you exploring the mess I've just made? Come on, your cookies will come soon enough. A lot of people aren't going to the movies yet because of COVID. We've been a couple of times, but we sit way in the back and keep our masks on and all that. Let's do that one in a minute. 22 appears to be right here. My French single malt whiskey, interesting. I'm not sure if I've tried the malt whiskeys yet. I know I've got at least one other one. It sounds like something I might not like, but maybe I would. I don't know. I like malt candies. Is, is that related? And chocolate malt shake things. 22. Doors are not cooperating today. What does that say? A magical season. What does that say? I'm looking through the camera and I can't read it. Oh, it's because it's tiny. White nectarine peach lemon verbena spread. All right. Hello, Roxy and Baron. Okay, I'm excited about 22. I know what it is. I've been waiting all month for it. Here we go. Coincidentally, we opened those other pochettes today, and this is the Nolita 15. Let me get all the stuff off of it. There we are. It's the Nolita 15 in a color called Surplus. It's a like an olive green, and it has silver hardware, which I really like. And then the inside, I also really like. This is... <gasps> no! It's not the same! Ah. Oh. I've been hearing about this happening on the Coach website where they will have items that the interior is different from the photo on the website. That's really disappointing. However, I did get a great deal on this. I don't remember what the retail was. Let me see. Yeah, the little card doesn't help because they put the fake retail price on that. This was from the outlet, by the way. What was it? I want to say maybe they had it priced around 60 something dollars, maybe 70. And then I want to say at some point they upped the price. They definitely raised the price and it was stupid. It was like 80 or 90 or or something for this little pouch. But then they lowered it again, but it was still way too high. I wasn't willing to pay 50 or $60 for it. And then at some point eventually, a couple months ago, they had it for something like $30. And that's when I bought it and snatched it up. And I remember distinctly that it had that other interior. That's really upsetting. But I know that this is a thing that Coach has been doing, which is kind of false advertising, is it not? Anyway, let me show you why I wanted this. I just ran into my lamp. Anyway, I thought it would look really nice with my Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire and the Steven Sprouse graffiti in green. They look good together, yes? And they would make a nice little handbag set or a pouch set, not handbag set, a little pouch set inside of a larger handbag. <sighs> what I would give to have the speedy of this bag 
in great condition. I can tell you what I'd have to give, close to $3,000. Haven't been willing to do that yet, but maybe someday, maybe someday. Although the prices just go up from there, don't they? Those look good together. I'm somewhat happy with it. Dog calendar time. Dog calendar time. We have to move this. Guess we'll just put it on the floor for now. Guess what time it is, guys. Time for another, oh, time to move all this stuff. Okay, I just cleaned the room. Look at it already. If anybody complains about my room being messy, I'm gonna send them a strongly worded email. Okay, Roxy, we're looking for door number 22. It's taking you a while today, huh? You're almost there. Here, Roxy, the one door you didn't sniff. Those weird things. Calendar number two. Baron, you look bored. Cookies. I think this might be freeze-dried chicken. Um, excuse me? Did you just eat cookies out of the box without being handed to you? You did, didn't you? I heard you rummaging in there. And there are quite a few missing. <gasps> Terrible behavior. Baron, that is yours. All right, there are five cookies. One, two, three, four. And I usually break the last one in half, but guess who's getting the whole thing today? Mm-hmm. You can't even make eye contact with me, can you? All right, until tomorrow. 